Hey guys, Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. Daryl at torpedopot.com. And we have 10 planters that we fill with tomatoes, Siberian tomatoes, and celery. We harvest the celery in the middle of the planter. Of all these planters, we place celery. And uh, the celery, I don't know, I forgot how many, did we have a pound? I forgot how much we had. But it was, uh, this is an older video. You go take a look at it. So, as you can see, it's starting to grow back very very fast so don't worry about it celery will not compete with your tomatoes you have a lot of soil in there soil is the engine of the pot that's the energy that kicks it off but um i want to show you these uh, siberian tomato plants okay and as you can see i told you we had 20 in each planter well actually we probably have more than 20 in some and uh and they're really kicking off and they're doing really really great i just want you to see them Get down with the plants, because now you don't have to get on the ground. You don't even have to touch the, the ground anymore. Just observe your plants. I got some vegetables in there too. And uh, we'll see how that does. So, um, these are same tomato plants. Now, you see how densely populated these plants are? This is extremely, extremely dense. Okay? Very, 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 very dense. And, uh, extremely dense but they're beautiful they're absolutely stunning absolutely stunning fortunately let's count and see how many we have in this planter here okay all right this is going to be a tough job because there are a lot all right so you have one two, whoa, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and one quarter of a pot okay so when you get an accurate, we're going to do a roundabout assessment. It's 18. We're rounded to 20. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Let's assume there's about 80 plants inside of this uh, planter. Now, what we normally do every year, my wife did a great job where she just has a 20-inch torpedo pot. And she just throws and litters maybe about 100 seeds plus into a torpedo pot. Let the tomatoes grow up to the desired height and then transfer them all around your property. You'll have tomatoes. Don't worry about it. You'll have them all over your property. And you'll have plants that have been developed, that have been matured in a great environment, so they're healthy also. All right, so that being said, I want to teach you how to make a difference in this pot. So you're going to have to go and find out what you want to thin out. This is a great time for me to take out, cut it back, and transplant it someplace else. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one right here. It looks pretty healthy. You see how that root just pulled right out? That's why this is the most important time. When they start to put on the second set of leaves, it's almost too late and you have to be able to pull that out. Do you understand? So, ah, see there's one right there. Actually, I think I got two of them here. There's one I guess we did before. That's been probably sitting down here for about a day or so. And so I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to thin them up. Let's try this one. Oh, it came out just perfectly. Look at that guy, see? This is the extent of your gardening, okay? Let's try something a little bit closer. This looks to be in the middle here. Uh, let's try, ooh, you got a lot coming up here. Let's take all three of these. Let me see, we can pull them all out. There you go. All right, all you do is just take them up and transplant them where you want them to be at. You know, as a rule, when I see two coming up together, you know, you're trying to pull one out, you know? This is obviously is very, very dense right here. And uh, and they are, are pretty advanced. And so people will probably ask me, Dara, why are you growing this many tomatoes in such a small area? And I look at them and I say, you know what? Good question. This probably won't be my first thinning, okay? But I'm just wanting to let you know, this is how you would thin them out. And so you don't have to have all your planters ready in time. What you do, you put your seeds in here and uh, you get them all germinated. And then that's the food that you'll be using moving forward. So now I've got a substantial amount of tomato plants that I can place anywhere in my garden. And they would do just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back. I'm gonna thin all of these out. I'm not gonna bore you with it, but at least you have an idea of what we're going to try to achieve here. 
Now last year, in this planter right here, we had 20 tomato plants. And they, like they are right now, were very healthy and strong. 20 tomato plants. So I'm gonna tell you, dude, when I, as long as I can make that soil as comfortable for that plant as possible, to have decomposition take place, to have the living organisms activated by the light, the heat, excuse me, by the heat and the water. Have them go to work. Have them build their own communities because the soil is a part of every aspect of their community, the sanitation, everything else. So the soil is the heart of where everything takes place, where life starts. And that's where your plants get built. They're not built above the ground. Your plants are built below the ground. 